Hey, this is Ramon, Channel Alpha 4, and Pope Francis made an interesting announcement the other day about uh, the Lord's Prayer. And so I thought I'd help explain that to you guys. And uh, because I have so many translations, I thought I'd give you different translations of the Lord's Prayer. Uh, let's begin with uh, the current Catholic version up until the change. So here's what the current version of the Lord's Prayer is, sometimes also called the Our Father. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. That is the Lord's Prayer. Correct. That is the current version that we currently say in Mass, if you're Catholic. Except that is not the current translation of the Lord's Prayer. The actual current translation is, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not subject us to the final test but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. So what's going on with that, huh? Well, why is there a difference? According to at least one priest on Fox News, he goes, well, it goes back to the translation of the Latin and the Spanish and the Greek. One of those three is absolutely true. The other two are not. So let's begin with the Latin version. First, in English, shall we? So in Latin, and this is from 1941, okay? This is my grandfather's uh, Bible. All right, so we have from the Vulgate, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Now, if you'll notice, though, there is something that's already different, which is it's debtors. So what does it say in the Latin, in the Latin itself? So this is a missile from, uh, this is a Latin missile. They don't usually have these anymore. And this is, I think, from the 60s. So just to show you that it really is Latin. See, there's Latin on this page. So you're going to get to hear my horrible Latin. All right. Pator Noster. Que es in colis. Sanctificator Numen. Tunum. Adventium and vin eight regnum tuum fiat volutas tua sic ut in colu et in terra panem nostrum cotindinum da nubis odi et demiti nobis deb ita nostra sic ut et nos demitimus debetor edos nostris et ni nos induces in ten tatunem sed libera nos a malo amen Now, that does not say, do not lead us into temptation, but it also doesn't say, don't let us fall into temptation, which is the new translation. What this actually says is, do not induce us into temptation. So, okay. Well, we've also heard that it's from the Greek. So, uh, I don't have a Greek, Greek translation, but 
I do have uh, the online. So I, I got an online Greek Orthodox. So I can't read Greek, so I'm not going to torture you with that. But let me give you the translation. Now, there's a interpretation under here that pretty, mu pretty much matches what we all say. But let me go with the direct translation right off of Google Translate. The Father of God of the earth, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. I will give you your will, as in heaven and as in your womb, even if it is the time of your time of this day. And he hath committed trespasses of wicked men, of wicked men, as we have given to them those who have been forgiven. And thou hast been tempted. You are alien to the wicked. Clearly, the Greek does not translate into anything we even recognize, but it definitely doesn't translate into fall away or even lead us into temptation. Okay, what do you guys want? Do you want Spanish or you want English? Let's go with English first. All right, so let's check out some other versions. Let's try the King James, okay? All right, all you King James only people just got excited, huh? All right, so King James, let's see their version of it, of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Well, a little different than our modern, but still, what we're used to. What about CSB? All right, this one's going to be a little different, by the way. The Christian Standard Bible Translation. Our Father in heaven, your name be honored as holy. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we have also forgiven our debtors. And do not bring us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Okay, so kind of in line with the current uh, Catholic, well, current Catholic translation, not necessarily the in liturgy prayer, but definitely with our current uh, NAB translation. So what about uh, the New Revised Standard Version? Okay, I like the New Revised Standard Version, by the way. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we, have al as we also have forgiven our debtors. And do not bring us to the time of trial, but rescue us from the evil one. Okay, so a little different, but still all within, uh, all within the same context. Notice that debtors are in there, so it's different than what we're normally saying anyway. And that the ending does not say do not lead us into temptation, okay? Which theologically is a problem because in Catholicism and in other Christian religions, God is purely good and evil is just the absence of God or the absence of good. So therefore, God would never lead you into temptation anyway. So where does this translation come from? If it doesn't come from the Latin, it doesn't come from the Greek, and it's not in any of the major English translations, where are we getting it from? I give you Spanish. You thought my Latin was bad. Okay, so this is La Biblica, La Biblia Latino America. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry to all my ancestors and family members who are going to hear me read Spanish. I, I've been practicing. I have for uh, a, about 20 weeks now. It's not going to be good. Okay, all right. Padre Nuestro, que está en el cielo, santifico, santificado, sea de, de nombre, venga tu reino, As, ag, agase tu voluntad. 
así en la tierra como en el suelo. Danos hoy el pan que nos corer corresponde y perdona nuestras dondas como también nosotros perdonamos a nuestros dor, do, doras y no nos dejas car en la tentación sino hebranos del malingo ok now y no nos dejas cadre and do not let us fall en la ten, tentación, in t, into temptation. So do not let us fall in temptation. Okay, so there you go. What about, and that, by the way, is Latin America. I believe this is uh, Chile. All right. What about the Colombian translation? All right. Again, sorry about the bad Spanish. It's about to happen. Venga tu rino. Agase tu voluntad. Así en la tierra como en el suelo. Danos hoy el pan nosotros de cada día. Y perdonanos nuestras dudas así como nosotros perdono Perdonamos a nosotros dodores y no nos días care en la tentación más libranos de mal. Amén. Again, directly matches the Pope's new suggested translation, which is, y no nos días care en la tentación. And no, don't let us fall in the temptation. Okay? Okay. But what about a major Spanish translation? How about the official Spanish translation of Spain by the Conference of Spain, the Spanish Cardinals? All right. So, by the way, this is the translation that I'm studying uh, my Spanish out of. Padre nuestro. Que estás en el celo, significando, san, santificado, sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino, hágase tu voluntad en la tierra como en el suelo. Danos hoy. Nosotros pan de cada día. Perdona nos nuestras ofensas, como también nosotros perdonamos a los que nos ofenden. No nos días caer en la tentación y lebranos del mal. So, there you go. No nos tijas care en la tentación y lebranos del mal. Amen. So, there you go. So, in the Spanish, it does say that. Now, there is one version of the Spanish, the Mexican Spanish, that doesn't have that. And instead, what it says is something like, do not expose us to temptation. So what it says is, I'm just going to read the last part, which is, this is the one in Mexican Spanish. No nos expongas a la tentación, sino liberanos del maligno. All right, so that is 
so do not expose us to temptation, which is a little different. But that's it. So we are getting it from the Spanish. That's where he's getting the suggested translation from, from the Spanish interpretation or from the Spanish translation of the Lord's Prayer. So there you go. That's the explanation. It's just slightly longer than I wanted it to be, so hopefully I'll trim this down. Peace, like, subscribe. I hope this helps. Ask any questions down below. Peace.